Hello friends, it's story time and today we are going to read a book with the title How do you lift a lion? How do you lift a lion? And this book is a question and it even has a question mark on the title How do you lift lion question mark it's a problem it's a question how can we lift a lion a lion is very heavy can we lift a lion only with our muscles let's see the story or the book is written and it's also illustrated by robert e wells and we have here the front cover of the book then we have the spine of the book. This side is the spine. And then we have the back of the book. And we can find on the back of the book the barcode. We need this barcode. So when we buy the book in the bookstore, we can know the price. And we can register the, the book before we buy it. So. How do we lift a lion? This book has a problem and we have to find a solution for this problem. And we see here a panda and how do you lift a lion? Robert E. Wells. Did you ever try to lift a lion? You have to be awfully strong. Yeah, because the lion is heavy. It's because of the force of gravity. Gravity pulls objects downward. So it pulls objects and maybe it pulls animals too. Gravity pulls animals and objects downwards. It's like, you see my Sharpie? If I leave my Sharpie, it falls on the book because of the force of gravity. Gravity makes it fall. It makes it go in direction of the center of the earth. Gravity pulls objects downward. When that object is a massive as a lion, it pulls pretty hard with a lever. You can lift a heavy weight with much less effort. And we see here a big lever. And we can use our force to make the lever work. But we will use less force than lifting directly the lion. Like here, they are trying to lift the lion, but they are not strong enough. Maybe with the lever, they don't have to be so strong and to make so much force. Oh, and we have here labels. To show us the parts of the lever and this side of the lever is the load side and then we have here the fulcrum that it's like a screw the fulcrum is here and then we have the force side this big side it's much bigger than the load side this force side is the side where we do our force the main part of a lever is a bar or rod which balances or pivots on a fulcrum. If the force side is longer than the load side, you will have leverage. Leverage adds force to your own strength. With a force side this long, you could lift a lion. You see, they can lift one lion because they have a leverage that's very smart to use simple machines so we don't have to be so strong and use so much of our force now do you suppose you can lift 10 lions 10 lions are heavier than just one lion hmm. can we lift 10 lions let's see let's see this is a big problem oh my gosh 10 lions one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lions. And we have the load side, the fulcrum, and the big four side. The longer the force side is compared to the load side, the more leverage you will have. So if you add a lever with a handle this long, maybe you could lift them a little. Yeah, you see, you have a big force side and maybe then you can lift your lions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lions. We have here ten lions. Did you ever try to pull a panda on a pallet? Hmm. It would be pretty hard. Gravity is pulling down on that panda. Gravity is doing like to, like this to my Sharpie. You see? Gravity is doing this to the Sharpie and it's doing the same to the panda. It's pulling him downwards. And there's also friction between the ground and the pallet. So we have the ground and we have the pallet. And they do friction like this, like in my hands. There is the ground and there is the pallet and there's friction. Let's do some friction in our hand. Friction, friction. You listen. Friction. It seems it's saying the word friction, friction, friction. Yeah. So, and there's also friction between the ground and the pallet. Friction or resistance happens when two surfaces rub together. My end. The more weight pushing on the surfaces, the more friction there is. Oh, if you put wheels on your pallet, there would be less friction. We can use wheels to deal with friction. Wheels, friction. Wheels solve the problem for friction. If you put wheels on your pallet, there would be less friction. And you wouldn't have to pull quite so hard. Look. Wagon wheels are mounted on axles. So this is an axle. And the axle goes from one wheel to the other wheel. And the wheel's center is a bearing, which turns on the axle. The bearing's inside surface is smooth, so it makes very little friction. Oiling a bearing's inside surface makes it slippery, so it has even less friction. This is called lubrification, is when we put oil on a surface so it has less friction. So if I would put oil on my hands, I would have less friction. And here on the bearings too, we put some oil so we can have less friction there. And we call that, how do we call that? Lubrification. Clap with me. Lubrification. Yeah, lubrification. Lubrification. It's when we put oil on a surface so we can decrease the friction 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 so many words today we are learning so many words with this book what a nice book and it has a, a nice panda and even 10 lions wheels with bearings make much less friction than pallet bottoms that's why you can pull the panda now even though is just as heavy you see the boy and the girl, they can pull the panda because they have wheels. If you begin to go downhill, gravity takes over to pull your load. You see, gravity now will make the car even faster. Gravity not only pulls objects straight down, it pulls them down slopes. 
So now that you don't have to pull, you could carry a much bigger load. Because look, you have pull of gravity and you have the direction of object being pulled by gravity. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering, what is this? I think this is a kind of a simple machine. It's like a ramp. What simple machine can be a ramp? Hmm. I wonder what's the name. Now you could carry a pyramid of pandas and the steeper the slope, the faster gravity will make you go. See? As steeper is the slope, the faster gravity will make you go. You will go so faster in this steep. And I wonder, what is this? It can be like a simple machine. It's like in, inclined. You'd probably wish add more friction to slow you down. Yes, you need brakes when you are in this situation. <gasps> I think this is like an inclined plane. And inclined planes, they use the force of gravity to help us to move something. The pen is going fast because of the force of the gravity in an inclined plane, in a ramp. And now I think we have here another problem. I will turn the book like this and you see we have here bananas. I wonder why they have stairs here or the baboon. We see a baboon here and the baboon, he has a balloon and he has a, a head. What is happening here? Oh, and we have more. It's like a tree and we have more baboons here and they have a cake. And they have ads and balloons. What is happening here? Are they on a birthday party? Hmm, maybe they are. Did they invite us? Invited us? Did you ever try to deliver a big basco, basket of bananas to a baboon birthday party? So we have a birthday party here. And if we want to take all these baboons with this trolley, how can we send the, 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 the bananas to the party? The party is being here on the table and we have all these bananas. How can we lift the bananas to the party? Did you ever try to deliver a big basket of bananas to a baboon birthday party? How can we do this? It's not easy. Oh. What is this? They are using a machine so they can lift the bananas. They are using a machine. What machine is this one? With pulleys, it would be much easier to lift the bananas. Yeah, we have the bananas here and we can lift them with a pulley. Very well. Let's see how the pulley works. A pulley has a wheel with a grove around it to hold the rope. So this is the grove inside the pulley. And the pulley has a grove around it to hold a rope. So the rope doesn't go to the sides. When you lift with one pulley, your, your lifting strength stays the same. So you are doing the same force you would have to do to lift the baboon. But the direction of force is changed. Instead of doing your force like this, from the bottom up, like this, you would be doing your strength like this. Like the girl here, she is pulling the rope. Pulling the rope. And she's lifting the baboon. And that's easier than to put the baboon in your hands and lift him up. With 
two pulleys your li your lifting strength is double like this you see you have one pulley here and then another here and they are connected by this rope and now your strength is the double you have twice the strength you have before with one ro with one pulley you will use twice as much rope but you can also lift twice the load so you will use more rope but you can you can lift twice the load la carga in in spanish load is carga you can have more baboons if you use two pulleys yes pulleys make it much easier to deliver a big basket of bananas to a baboon birthday party and now we see all these baboons they seem so happy because with a pulley we can deliver the bananas the big bananas basket but perhaps a smaller basket would have been better yeah what is happening to the baboons they ate so many bananas maybe next time we have to give less bananas to the baboons okay friends listen what machines did they use to 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 lift the bananas and what machine did they use to lift the lions you remember the name of this machine and do you remember the main the name of this machine <coughs> and 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 this machine what's the name for this machine you remember do you recall okay friends i'll see you tomorrow at the same time bye bye see you tomorrow for another book